I'm so excited to be here at Urban Gallery for Nicholas Pearson's Imaginary Nonsense Show. It's his solo show here. And look who I found. Hi, Nicholas. Hello. This is so exciting. So for the month of July, you're the artist in residence here. And I must say, I'm bowled over by the colors. Yes, very you... bright and fun. <laughs> it's very summery. Yes. Now, you've got a very unique technique um, where you embed all sorts of different uh, materials. Now, where did you get the inspiration from this? So I got the inspiration from a study abroad program I did in Siena, Italy, oh. where I saw artists uh, like Alberto Burri and mm -hmm. Lucio Fontana, mm -hmm. and they would stick uh, different materials like burlap on their oh. canvas, mm -hmm. and when I came back I wanted to do something similar, and I had twine, so I stuck twine on my canvas. Oh, yeah, so this is the title piece. Yes, voluptuous. Oh, well, that's cool. It, very, it, it is yeah. very voluptuous. So walk me through what is on here and what is, what is the technique? So it's oil painting and it's got twine on it. And mm -hmm. what I would do is either stick the twine on the canvas directly mm -hmm. or in some areas I would literally shred and take the twine apart oh. and to create more texture. And oh, wow, look at that. So if you want a hairy painting, yes. this is the one for you. This is great. So how long have you been painting? Uh, since as long as I can remember, mm -hmm. like basically since I was a little boy, oh. I went to art camp as a kid mm -hmm. and I've always like had a fascination for art and a love for art. Well, that's fantastic. Now you're here at Urban Gallery for the entire month of July and I'll make sure that the people who watch this see the description where it is. Now do you have a web address? Is there a website to find your uh, work? Yes, I have an Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, N Pearson Art at Instagram, uh -huh. or I have a website, npearsonart.com. Fantastic. I will link that. So let's go and have a look at some of your other works. Very good. And speaking of fabulous, oh my gosh, look at the buttons. Yes. Uh, Is this I, another technique you incorporate? Uh, yes, and this one goes back to high school. Mm -hmm. I had to create my own ism mm -hmm. for one of my projects, and so I created a Nicholasism, which <laughs> was sticking things on my canvas. And this is sort of where it started. And wow. I, my first uh, painting that I did like this, I stuck buttons on. This is not the same painting, that one, but, but this is sort of, it started in high school, and this is. Progressed. And there's more over here. Wow, this is this looks like Mardi Gras. I love it. And with the buttons, you know that their costumes have all come undone. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and this is beautiful too. And you know, what does this represent? Anything in particular, or is it just your mind at work? It's just basically like I just sort of like go with the flow and mm -hmm. just paint. And usually with this piece uh, or pieces like this, yep. I'll stick the buttons on first, and yep. then where the buttons are placed will sort of interpret like where the paint will go on. Wow, that's that's incredible. And you've got other pieces that are just kaleidoscopes. Yes. Now, what inspired these? Anything in particular, or? Um, I just like organic sort of shapes and forms, um, very inspired by the natural world, very inspired by microscopic, mm -hmm. and I just love color. So it all sort of comes together and it's just sort of like my mood during the day mm -hmm. and like what I feel at the time. Wow. Well, good luck with today's um, opening reception. And there's uh, Meet the Artist, um, Saturday, July 27. Correct. Two to four. So hopefully everybody who doesn't come down today will come down on the 27th. So congratulations, and I'm going to take a little run through the gallery and look at everything else. Thank you, Nicholas. Thank you. Ooh. Okay, this is wild. This reminds me of a stained glass window. This is beautiful. And I love the colors here. Kind of commando. And then this is very beautiful. And here are my favorites on the back wall. The pinks, the purples, the blues. So Urban Gallery is located at 400 Queen Street East in Toronto. And you can check out more of Nicholas's show at urbangallery.ca.